After a year of waiting, PSA has returned our cards. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. And yes, it has been nearly a year. I think we're two weeks short of a year. I sent this in in the very beginning of October for the quarterly fourth quarter special. I think it was, or maybe it was even the third, no, it was the third quarter that I sent in and they got it in the fourth. It was like $8 a piece back then. So those are the good old days. But the problem is when you spend $8, you get it back a year later. However, they are back now. Well, let's see what's in here. I'm very excited. I don't even remember the cards. It's been so long. I don't know the cards and I don't know the grades. So the double whammy, I did get upcharged on some of these and I almost got tricked into seeing the great grades, but I didn't. I just approved the upcharges and we're going to see what it is. We do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite card from the return. There's like 35 cards, I think. So you have a lot to choose from. So this thing is rather large. I'm going to cut this open off screen because there's just, I mean, we're going to be knocking over the setup. It's going to be insane if we try and do it off on, on the actual camera. So we have two of these normal boxes. They are, I think that's tape. I am so excited for this. A year. We waited a year. This is just, yeah, I'm just so excited. I don't know what is what. I think this one feels lighter. So we're going to start with this one. Let's see if I can not get any spoilers. Oh, it's still taped down. Wait. All right. We got them both cut open there. Let's see. Are we not? How are we not going to get spoilers? Let's see. Okay, but yeah, this is definitely the less full one like this. This direction will not have spoilers. First stack. What will be inside? What's the card? What's the grade? Who knows? Let's hope for some tens. Let's hope for some cool cards that I apparently subbed a long time ago. Also want to mention, if you did not see yesterday's Flaming Eternity opening, go check it out. A whole booster box hobby first edition was really fun. Let's get into these. We're not going to inspect every one because we do have 35. So it'd be crazy. Oh, World Championship. At the look of it. Oh, that's just a uh, regular rare. No, this is a World Championship 2000. And I can't I can't do it without spoiling it. But 2000. 11, I think. 2010 had foils. No, 2011 had foils. 2010. So, Exod, Master of the Guard. Let's see what he got. He's, he doesn't have foils, so maybe that should help his grade. Gem Mint 10. Yes. He doesn't have foils, so it's probably easier to grade him. Exod, Master of the Guard. Just a regular rare, but he is from a World Championships pack, which are very rare. I pulled this in the every pack opening. That's how long ago that, that I sent this. Every pack opening was last July or last june or something it was crazy psa 10 good start to the opening just a regular rare though so not like uh not like hard to grade next up tune table of contents i believe this is the one we pulled like very very long obviously everything was pulled over a year ago tune table of contents tournament pack six this is a super rare this would be an epic card to get a 10 in so far nothing on the back like the in terms of the crap that they get on there sometimes so that's all very good sign we'd love to see that another 10 this is super cool for my tournament pack set oh and tune table of contents just has a very cool looking artwork i really enjoy that this is starting off well i wonder we did get an upcharge but it wasn't for a lot so i don't know which one it was oh blue eyes white dragon from forbidden legacy i remember this one being in very good shape a lot of times those come out bent and stuff like that so this guy maybe this is the guy that got upcharged we'll see if he gets a 10 if he didn't probably not but Blue Eyes White Dragon Forbidden Legacy from those, you know, we just opened some of that. Go check that video out. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Ooh, near mint to mint eight. Okay. So it probably was not as minty as I thought. It's been so long, so I can't really remember exactly what I thought. Uh, I'm not really seeing much about it. Uh, corners look pretty good. It might be like slightly warped or something or like bent. It seems like maybe it is like that. They kind of come out of the pack like that. It wasn't actually bent though, so that's an eight. Okay, that's not great, but... You know what? We've gotten two tens. So we can't complain. Oh, another blue eyes. Oh, this is LOB. LOB original. What? Did I pull this? I didn't grade either of the ones I pulled from uh, 2002 or 2003. Let's see those tens. I just kept those because the centering was bad. Centering is not 100% perfect on this. I wonder where this came from. I can't remember. Um. Oh, it looks pretty clean. Okay, let's see what it got. If this got a 10, it's definitely upcharged. Mid nine, okay, pretty good grade. It's the original, the OG, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, uh, makes sense that it probably wouldn't, it'd probably be pretty tough to get a 10 on that. So, that's really cool though. All right, so eight, nine, two tens. Oh, one of the gores. Did it have print lines? I think I checked for print lines and I couldn't find any, but there's always some hiding on these, usually. I'm not always, but usually. I mean, it looks pretty good, honestly. The gores. This is when we opened Haunted Mine and we pulled three gores. It was an absolute just 
terrible. It was a terrible time. All right, let's see. Near Mint to Mint 8. It definitely has a scratch in there somewhere that I'm missing. These are very, I mean, you can't, you'll look at them and you're like, there's no scratches. And then you like keep looking and there's scratches. Uh, I still haven't found any, but I know that there's some in there. And probably these corners, you guys remember we opened some the other day, corners were garbage. Oh, wow, that kind of looks like it's bent. So maybe that, yeah, that might be why. And near Mint to Mint 8. All right. Didn't expect much from that one. Those PSA 10s from Haunted Mine are crazy. All right, next up, Hydro Get On Champion Pack 4. Okay, so this one does have foil bleed. And if you guys didn't see the news, PSA is grading foil bleed now. Obviously, I mean, look at it. This whole card is foil bleed. Foil bled. I don't know what you say there, but it has foil bleed throughout the entire card. Champion Pack 4, it's pretty normal for it. So these were going to be ungradable unless they changed that, you know, back. So that's really awesome that they did that. Let's see what the condition is. We open all of these in our 100 pack opening where we open the heavy packs of Champion Pack 4. A Mint 9. Okay, so not the 10, but a very pretty Mint 9 Hydro Get On. That's very cool. We pulled four of those out of that uh, those 10 heavy packs, which was painful, but still pretty cool. We now have the Ultimate Offering, another one that we pulled. We only pulled one of these. The foil is... Maybe that corner is a little dinged right there. I can't tell if that's a sleeve or something like that. It might be a little dinged. Um, definitely foil bleed going on there. Let's check this out. Let's see if it got better than the nine. Mint nine. Okay, that makes sense. I think that corner may have a little damage going on there, if you guys can see that. Um, so that would be a nine. Okay, makes sense. Hit two tens in a row, and now we have not hit one since. Apprentice Magician. This one would be really cool. Centering is not fantastic. Oh, wait, yeah, let's see. No, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wait, maybe that corner, maybe it's just part of the sleeve. It does have some whiting. Yeah, that's that thing I saw might have been the sleeve. I don't know. Um, okay, so, so far two nines. I'm going to go with nine. Yeah, so it looks like they're all going to get nine right now, which is still really cool. Champion pack four super rares are very, very valuable. Oh, Dark Magician Girl from Rise of Destiny. I forgot about this card. When was this from? When did we pull? Maybe when we did the Rise of Destiny open. Oh, it was so long ago. We only pulled one of these out of 10 special editions. Let's see what it got. Mint 9. Okay, it's a good card. Definitely a decent card, but uh, we're hoping for that 10. But maybe maybe uh, in the future. A lot of 9s right now. They're piling up. Cloudy and Sheep Cloud. Okay. We send in an ulti. I rarely send in ultis unless they're very big. That's pretty cool. That shows you like the kind of stuff you could grade. You could grade $20 cards because it's only $8, but now you can't really do it anymore. All right, let's check it out. This is from Glass Ultimate Rare. Mint 9, another Mint 9. It's a pretty card. Okay. Nice, nice. Come on, let's get back on the tin train. Destiny Board First Edition. Okay, Labyrinth of Nightmare. I think we pulled this one. Centering is pretty good on it. Back is pretty pretty good i can't tell if that's scuffing yeah i mean we did pull this let's see if it got the 10 Mid nine. Oh, another nine so we are on a very cold streak right now getting a lot of nines start off very good though here's another one we pulled we pulled all these in the same opening i think we opened like seven packs and pulled like three foils or something which was really awesome another first edition lon card very good let's see what this one got Ooh, a Gem Mint 10. Okay, on an original Legacy of Darkness first edition super rare. That's a very cool. All right, we hit the Gem Mint. I'll take that. Okay, this would be a great one for a 10. I would love to have this for the collection. I do not own a Revival Gem graded. So, well, I do right now. It's I'm holding it, but we'll see what it got. Hopefully, it got the 10 just like the Diffusion. That'd be awesome. We have. Yes, that's awesome. Revival Jam PSA 10. I love that blue. It looks really cool. Okay, so two out of three of those cards, unfortunately, the Ultra Rare did not get the 10, but that's still really awesome. We still got three cards left in this one, and then like 20 more cards, probably, unless they evened them out. Ooh, Guilford the Lightning. I forgot this was in here. CT2. I think we pulled this one out of a 10. Well, let's see how it did. You know how our promos usually do. Ooh, that's awesome. Guilford the Lightning. Secret Rare from the 10. Jim Mint. That is awesome. I know we have some more 10 stuff in here, so we'll see. I, well, okay, I don't know. I think we have Dark Magician Girl 10. I'm not totally sure. Because, I, I mean, I really don't remember everything. Ooh, Dual Terminal. Ooh, this would be, this would be cool. Red Eyes Black Dragon. It's not a very expensive card, but, man, is it a cool card. Let's see what it got. Oh, that's so awesome. Red Eyes. It's not the everyone's favorite artwork. I do like the red artwork, though. I think it looks cool. And then the DT Foil. Wow, Jim Mint 10. All right. Running back on the, or the hot streak, I should say. Oh, and I sent in two of these. 
Can we go two for two? Midnight. Okay. I'll take one, though. I'll only use one. That's really cool. Well, let's go into the next one. That was pretty good overall. Okay, let's do this. Let's try not to get any spoilers again. I think this is not spoilers, right? I don't think it's full 20 cards. Maybe we've done like half of them or something. All right. Pull these out. Let's see what is inside the year-long return. So far, pretty solid. Not fantastic, but still pretty good. Let's go ODT Dark Magician. Can we get one? I think I may be sending multiples. I'm not sure. Can we get one of them as a 10? Come on. Hit nine. Okay, we got a, we got a nine going there. All right, not great. Okay, I did send in two. Come on. Come on, Dark Magician. Let's do this. Oh, a gym mid. Okay, sweet. So we got one nine and one 10 on both of those. They're both the weird like DB artwork that people don't necessarily love, but I do really enjoy them. All right, good start in the second half. Oh, we sent in three of these. Can we go two for three? No, we can't. That's all right. We got one. though. Well, we got one. Oh, here it is. This could be a big card. Wait, the centering on this thing? Uh, yeah, the centering is not going to get that it's in. The centering's pretty off. I remember it being pretty clean. So maybe it'll get a nine. Is there a little dimple right there? Or is that in the sleeve? I'm not sure. We'll see. Mint nine. Yeah, that centering is just not good. That, that's why I got that nine. Still a good card, though. Even in nine, that's very nice. Oh, guys. Here is one you may not know. If you are a fairly new viewer that has been around for a year, this is the Gold Letter Gaia. This is a misprint that you could pull in Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited, where instead of a secret rare lettering, it had gold rare lettering. I actually pulled one of these out of a blister in an opening on a video. It was really awesome. It was super clean. This would be a really awesome PSA 10. I don't know, but I think these little dimples are from the sleeve. Let's see. Oh, that is so cool. Gold letter Gaia. We pulled it and we graded it at 10. That is amazing. Okay. That's one of the coolest cards we've pulled yet. It's a misprint that I pulled myself and graded at 10. That is super cool. Oh, the Ancient Year Golem. This is from the legendary Dark Magician Girl 10. This was the promo. And this is the extra Lost Millennium pack that was inside that had an Ancient Year Golem. It's just an ultra rare. But it's still amazing. Let's see what it got. Oh my goodness, it got a 10 as well. It's just the Ultra, so it's not like crazy priced, but just the fact that it was in an extra pack. Like it sh that pack should not have been in the 10. And then we pulled the best card in the set in Ultra. That and then it grades a 10. That's amazing. Ooh, Legendary Dragon White. Rhyme Style actually gifted me one of these in our Christmas swap. So it would be cool to have another one. But uh this is just a really cool card. Also pulled in the every pack opening. So one shout out to Rhyme Style. He's of course the goat let's see what it got oh a mint nine it's okay we already got the 10 so that's still an absolutely beautiful card just look at that that looks so cool our blue eyes are not having the best luck so far we've got two nines and an eight. Oh, the gold dark magician girl that we pulled in the every pack opening yeah wow there it's being just go check it out if you haven't seen it but dark magician girl gold rare Seven? Okay, those corners are not good. I mean, they're, they're not horrible, but they're not good. Let's see. What is, what is the seven? Uh, why does this get a seven? There's always a seven somewhere. Is it dented or something? Wait, is it dinner right there? I honestly can't tell if that's the sleeve or not, but it's it like kind of reflects right there. Maybe that's why I got a seven. I don't know. That's unusual because it was packed fresh, but... It's been a year. I really can't comment on what the conditions were like because my perspective's changed. Uh, it's been a year. My memory is completely gone from then. I don't know. Okay, Elemental Hero, Neos Alias. We've got a Tactical Evolution Ultimate Rare. This is from when we opened 100 Tactical Evolution Packs and pulled the Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. Mid-9, that's a cool card. Definitely a cool Elemental Hero. That would have been a crazy 10. That would have been awesome. We will take that, though. Fifth Hope, another one from that opening. We got... Oh, a 10. That's a cool one. That's a cool one because it has all the elemental heroes on it. Ultimate rare. That is a very good pull. Okay. Pull, uh, great, whatever you call it. Ancient Gear Beast. I actually sat on this card for like a few months before I even sent it, sent it off a year ago. It was very clean. Mint 9, okay. Centering, let's see. Maybe centering's not great on it, but man, this was a clean card though. Okay, this one's reflecting the same as the DMG, so I don't think it's bent. Oh, I just sent this one in because I really like this card. The Utopia Ray Victory. 
Just a really cool ultimate rare. It's from Judgment of the Light. It's not crazy valuable. It's like 25 bucks, but you can grade it when it's $8 back then. Oh, that's sick. A Gym Mint 10. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we'll take that. That is super good. Gym Mint 10. I, I love that. That's like one of the newest cards I have graded. Oh, I grade two of these? Cool. Oh, another 10. I didn't even remember I... I knew I had more of these because I pulled one. I was like, where are my other ones? Did I grade one? I graded two, apparently, and I graded two tens. That's really cool, actually. Oh, guys, if this doesn't bring you back, I don't know what will. We pulled so many Scarlet, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Ultis, and Ghosts when we opened all those uh, Dimension of Chaos packs. I could only submit one of them. Most of them were not 10 worthy. Let's see. And this one wasn't either. I got the nine. I think it was a little bit OC, right? Yeah, a little bit OC. Still, I had to grade one of them because of those epic moments. That's still really awesome. That's the more fun part about the cheaper uh, values. You can grade some of this stuff that's just cool and it's not like so expensive. This is one of the secret rares, okay. That got the 10, okay. This one looks really nice actually. That is super cool. If you guys have not seen those docs videos, go check them out, they were fun. We're getting down to the last few. Oh, here's the other rare, it got split up somehow. That one got the 10 as well from World Championship 2010. 10 from the 10, <laughs> 10 from 2010. Heavy, oh, first edition. Oh, okay. First edition Heavy Storm. Oh, Centering is not good. Why did I submit this? Centering is terrible. Yeah, Centering is awful on that thing. Look at it. It's so far off. I'm surprised it didn't even get an, didn't even get an 8. That's that's bad. Two more cards. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. This Centering looks better for sure. Definitely better. First edition MRD. Mint 9. Okay. I would love to have those as 10. I don't have them. I think this is another MRD. No, I pulled both of those out of first edition packs when I bought like 5 or something. Black Pendant First Edition MRL. This is the last card. Oh, a Gem Mint 10 First Edition MRL. Okay, that was a pretty awesome return, guys. It turned out to be really good. We got a lot of awesome 10s. A lot of really strong 9s, too. Like, things that are really good, you know, still valuable in 9. And a lot of really cool, like, cards just from memories from, like, way back on the channel. A lot of you guys were not here at that point. So maybe you can go check those videos out and it'll be more fun or whatever. And that's it for this video, guys. That was so much fun. A year later, maybe we'll get back our bulk and our uh, other 50 card order from like several months and a year ago soon. That will be a lot of fun. But that's it for this one. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!